Today, I go over dual extrusion from printers and how the 3D model kind of works and how you understand the difference and how you need to export it. But really, the uh, STLs remember the global positioning, so the center of origin doesn't really matter. And I'll show you how it does that. Alright, anyway, stay tuned. everyone, this is Kevin with InventsMark, and today I'm going to be going over how to print with two colors and what you need to do to actually get it to recognize the two different colors and everything. On here I just have it so one of them has a color and the other one doesn't, basically. It actually doesn't even matter if it has a color or not in Blender, but you just I just put it so you can see the difference in the two objects here. This is basically a calibration thing I made to calibrate my printer for the X and Y for the different nozzles. I'm still working on it too because <laughs> you gotta print one and change it and I'm not done with building my printer either all the way but anyway so for this it's basically two different module models one for each color and I was confused because I thought that it had to have the exact origin of the object like if you change the origin, like if I change it over there, change the origin of that object, and then move the origin over there, it actually doesn't matter. I thought it did, but the, somehow the STLs know to line up with each other when you import it into the slicing software. So I'm going to actually go ahead and export both of these, and export this first one. Selection only. And I put this in 3D printer. And I'll just keep the name that I have. So just put a one there. Save that one. Export the other one. And just do plus export. And I can import it. I was working with another object here earlier just to test it out and I go to the right directory here open both of those so you see it opens both of them with different things it's actually black I think the lighting is making it look weird but anyway to get dual extrusion you click and drag one onto the other one and they line up and if you look at how I had the center of origin it didn't really matter where it was at to, for these to line up to print and so it kind of worked out just fine that way so go back to blender for some reason I don't know why it remembers how it's laid out in here so if I move this like over here and export it then and go to number three and then go back to Recreator and I'll just import them all three of them so that's three that's two so one I can get rid of so if we move this to here, it actually remembers it, how you had it laid out in your 3D modeling program. I don't know how it does that, but it does. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And so we can import just the one and the two again and you got this is where you change the nozzle apparently you can have up to 16 different nozzles for like this object here so it would actually combine it so it has to be lined up how it needs to be 
in the 3D modeling software where you want it to be, the STL remembers the layout. They must remember the global layout for it to be able to align everything. Because right now, these are both lined up where they need to be, and so are, they end up lined up in the program too. I thought you had to have the origin set right, but it remembers, so you don't really need to worry about the origin where it needs to be set in there. And so that's basically, I just wanted to go over that and kind of show, demonstrate the dual color. I had to learn it because I never worked with the dual color calibration or anything like that. Not the calibration, but just printing a dual color thing. It was kind of new to me, so. That's how you basically do it. And that's all there is to it. And if you want this model, just let me know. I can upload it. If not, this is just a simple test pattern. So measure things. First one I had was 30 millimeters and this one's 100 so hopefully that works out. If you want it let me know and I'll upload it to Thingiverse or something just as a calibration but otherwise that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching.